Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. Today I'm going to be vlogging for you guys and right now we are at Logan Soccer Practice and I'm about to put together the kids' spooky baskets because today is October 1st and I'm a stay-at-home mom and the kids are always with me so I couldn't do it at home. So first thing is you need a basket and I have both of these from last year. So I have all the goodies inside this Walmart bag. I had to hide it so the kids didn't suspect anything. They already saw the baskets but they didn't know why I had the baskets I told them they are for Halloween they're for trick-or-treating but first thing I need to grab the web how do we not make a mess I don't even think these rip ow this hurts okay so this now I need to fluff it I love doing stuff like this for the kids okay so now we're just going to put it in the bottom <laughs> okay now put it in here all right so now for the fun stuff we're going to open up the spiders. So we're going to put one here, one here, and one here. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys, before I put them in the baskets, all the fun stuff that I got. I got four poppets. One is a bat. Then we have a ghost. And then we have another bat and a pumpkin. I think I'm going to do... A bat for Logan and then a ghost for Briella and then I got these light up light up pumpkin skeletons it looks like and then these little things can stick to stuff and they'll be able to pull these out I don't even know what these are called but we have orange green red and purple and I think I'm going to do I'll do purple for Briella and I'll do green or I'll do orange for Logan so there we go I got this big pack of bracelets which I think I'm going to pass them out with our Halloween candy on Halloween. I'm just going to give Logan and Briella a couple. So we'll do a purple one for Briella. I'll actually give them two each. Another one for Briella. And then here's one for Logan. Since Logan's is orange, I'll give him orange instead of green. Because I like to be color coordinated. So we'll give Logan this one and this one. Next, we have books for the kids. So I got this one for Briella, and I got this one for Logan. So I'm going to have to, it comes with stickers inside the books as well, so they're going to love it. And then, so the next thing are glow-in-the-dark tattoos. They've never done tattoos, so I'm very, very excited for them to do this. I'll give them like two each. Okay, so two for Logan and two for Briella, okay. That's for Brie. And then next, I have these crafts, which basically, it's just stickers that they get to decorate onto a pumpkin. I'll show you guys. So they basically get this sheet and then they put a bunch of stickers on this pumpkin. I love that it comes in a big pack because now they get to do them throughout the month. I'll give Briella a pink one. And then, that might be it other than candy, yeah. I also bought like, there's a gigantic pumpkin and then they're also going to put um, stickers on them as well, but I think that's just for homeschooling. I'm going to use that as a craft for the month. So now I have a big bag of candy. So I'm going to give them like one of each. So a lollipop, a lollipop, Reese's, gummy bears, Kit Kat, Hershey's, and Twizzlers. Last year I gave them these cups, but they didn't even use them, so I'm just gonna put them in their basket again. They don't even remember. I think I'm going to like decorate it a little bit more and just make it look better, but as of right now, that's what they have. I love holidays and I love doing these little things for them because it makes them feel special, it makes them excited, and with homeschooling, I just need them to have that little bit of excitement. So we're going to do spooky baskets and when we get home, we need to change out the homeschooling calendar. I was gonna do that for homeschooling today, but I forgot that I moved the desk into Logan's room and I had to take down the calendar, so I need Sam to put it back up and then we can put the you know new month so here is Logan's basket and then here is Briella's basket see it doesn't look too good right now I'm going to make it look better really quick <laughs> it's a surprise close your eyes <laughs> close your eyes close your eyes keep them closed here's yours and here's yours <laughs> oh wow what is it? Tell me. Oh, it's a spooky basket oh. open it Put it right here oh so you can see. God. Open it. It's pocket. Mom, this is insane. This 
What'd you get? I got this chicken. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thing wow. You got, like it? Yeah. Oh! What? That's what? crazy. Look. Wow, look. wow, I love it. I like pumpkin. You like pumpkin? It lights up. What else did you get? What? Look, <gasps> you got a bracelet. Ooh, it goes on your wrist. Ooh, be careful, there's a bat. You got a bat? A poppet oh, bat. No. A poppet bat. What kind ghost. did Briella get? <gasps> she got a ghost. It's you a got pumpkin. a pumpkin cup? Wow, miss. What'd you get, Logan? Are you going to decorate it? I get my, uh, How come you didn't make me a spooky basket, Mom? I can't. Did you want a spooky uh, basket? I no. <laughs> Hi you guys, it's the next day. I wanted to hop on here and tell you guys about my day today because I had my 37 week baby appointment. And first of all, I am never making an appointment in the afternoon at that office ever again. I had an appointment for 2.55 and I didn't get seen until 4.20. Thankfully, they let me wait out in the car because the whole waiting room is full. Sam is doing the kids' night routine right now and Briella is just a non-stop screamer. So if you hear her screaming, that's what that is. She's probably getting her teeth brushed or something. But anyways, I go in to get seen and and I had to get my group B test today because I'm 37 weeks and one day I think and yeah so we did my group B test and there was a lady that did it I think it was a nurse practitioner and then she was like okay get dressed and then the doctor will come in but try to hurry because he's probably going to come in within like the next couple of minutes so what do I do I hop off the table and I start getting dressed and I was going way too quickly I shouldn't be moving that quick this pregnant but when I went to put my legs into my pants I felt my pubic bone just like it just started hurting so bad I'm in agony because I feel like I shifted it out of place or something I don't know what it's called but I think it's like pubic pubic something okay it happened to me in my last pregnancy as well when I was rolling out of bed one time but yeah that just happened and I am in so much pain I don't know if it's because her head moved lower or like I don't know what's going on but I'm really really hoping that I go into labor before my next appointment my next appointment I will be 38 weeks and four days which is next Friday and today is a Wednesday so we have like a whole nine days to go into labor and once I hit that 38 week mark in two days I am going to start walking I'm going to do the raspberry leaf tea the mile circuit I'm going to do everything to try to put my body into labor one because I think this baby is a lot bigger than my other babies and I don't want to like rip or tear second of all I gave birth to Briella in the 38th week and she was perfectly fine so I figured what's another 38 week baby it's okay lastly I I don't want to deal with this pubic bone pain for too long it definitely gets better after you give birth so I'm just like waiting on that my appointment went well all I can say is that we did the group B test I'm not even going to have those results till next week baby girl's heart rate was 161 when she was trying to get the baby's heartbeat um, she kept kicking it and it was so funny she's like okay okay I'll stop it was hilarious I felt bad because Sam and the kids had been in the car we had all been in the car for like two hours waiting for that appointment and then I had to go pick up a package from UPS and then we went home and here we are now so I'm going to tell you guys the dates that I'm hoping for her to come which I was hoping she would either come today so it would have been 10 to 24 or I was hoping or I'm hoping that she'll come on Friday which is 10 4 24 or I'm hoping she'll come on 10 6 24 or 10 10 24 so we shall see my next appointment is scheduled for the 11th so I'm really really hoping that she will be here before then we're going to do everything in our power to go into labor like I said in the 38th week so we will see I've been bouncing on my birthing ball getting her in the right placement I've been drinking the red raspberry leaf tea I've been doing everything I've been walking I've been just I've been doing it all okay and now I just feel like I'm ready I'm ready she's ready my belly definitely has dropped a lot more so yeah if you guys want I'll give you a bump date really quick because why not there's not going to be many more of these so here she is 
And if you guys have been following along for a while, you know that she was all the way up in my ribs. So I'll show you guys all the free space I had. This is the top. This is where my uterus is at. So she's dropped pretty much like what? Like three, four inches? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I feel like I can breathe better, but now she's just so low that I'm just in so much pain from my pubic bone. And today, that whole thing at the doctor did not help anything. I definitely like shifted it out of place and I'm definitely going to be in pain for the rest of my pregnancy. But anyways, I hope you guys got the gist of my pregnancy update. If you guys enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. I hope to see you all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys.